Modum. La Costa. The judge. The great love that is on all rise upon the heart. Modum. La Costa. The judge. The end times are now. And the light threatens. I'm for action. Yes, my master. Let it be. And you shall be that we wish. And we shall upon everything before the light intervenes. Give us an agent. An agent to do the work. Yes. An agent that will spread the darkness everywhere. And make humanity look the other way. That is what we want. Have you seen such a one, O oh messenger? Yes, my master. And is he strong enough, enough, enough in the job? Yes, my master. Then show us the chosen one, O oh messenger. Yes. <laughs> you have done well. A pop so deep. I find it. I did pretend. Yes, I'll be good scared now. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, they are being moved into the company we have set up now. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. I'm impressed. Thank you, sir. Uh, Peter, sir. I want you to personally supervise the uploading of the goods into the warehouse, okay? Okay, sir. That will be all.
Queen, I'd like to see you immediately. This uh, statement of account doesn't seem to be complete. It's complete, sir. It's over attached to the last page. I see. You're right. <laughs> so, 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 what are we doing this evening? I wish to be tonight. I thought as much. Come over here. Who is this? It's me, Raphael. James, you guessed right. Well, I, I just thought I should call and remind you about the loan. James, everything is all right. You can count on me. Even as I'm speaking with you right now, the goods are being transferred into my warehouse. And uh, give or take in one week, all the goods will be disposed of. You know how it is with fair partners, don't you? Raphael, the, the pressure is becoming unbearable. Listen, James, I understand and I appreciate your patience. But you have my word for it. In 10 days' time, you will get the money, okay? I would appreciate it. I would, I would, honestly. I mean, the board members are already breathing very, very hard on me. James, my friend, I say you don't have a problem. I've given you my word. In 10 days' time, you'll get the money. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind, I am attending to some very, very interesting business right now. I'll catch you later, James. See you. Ask manager. Yeah, so about that. We can forget about him right now. So, Mariam, you must take your studies seriously. I heard you before, sir. Well, I'm just reminding you. You know this is your last semester. When is Auntie Maria coming back home? As soon as my exams are over. Can I come to school with you? Of course. No. You know you have to go to your school. Thank you. Bye, Auntie Maria. Bye. I'm going to see you. Very well, Maria. You're leaving. Yes, Be very good care of yourself. Be very careful. You give her so much money to go to school with. She will end up buying expensive things. Come on, Gina. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ten thousand naira isn't a lot of money, I mean, what can it really buy? And uh, besides, you don't want her to be distracted from her studies now, do you? If only she will not buy useless things with it. Uh -huh, Maria isn't as bad as that. She's my sister, remember? <laughs> I know her more than you. But then Maria bought new shoes yesterday. Really now? I told you. Oh well, <laughs> these things happen. Hello. This is Raphael. Oh my god. Oh my what? god. What is it, darling? <laughs> what? I trusted you, and now you, you ruined my life. But it was not my fault, sir. I didn't know, and nobody knew how the fire started. Everything. Twenty million naira worth of goods all up in up in place just like that. I'm really sorry, sir. I'm really sorry. You are sorry. You can tell me you're sorry. Everything was. You, you are sorry. Honestly, sir, I don't. I don't. Just I, get out of this place. If I do something, I will regret.
It's okay, Ralph. I'm gonna take it easy. Maybe it was destined to be. This morning. Honestly, the fire destroyed everything. Which other sympathize with you? I am in a very difficult situation myself. I mean, the boat will not go beyond the, the day of repayment. All I ask for is two weeks, two more weeks, that's all. But I'm afraid it can be possible. And after all, there is pressure from the board. Can you understand? Serious pressure. I mean, they, they agreed 10 days expire the day after tomorrow. And look at the board. Has just instructed the proceedings to return your collateral in case there's there, there's defaults. You don't mean you, you mean to take away my house just like that? I'm sorry, I, I did my best. They just added seven more days. But, but that's not fair, Raphael. I did my best. Yeah, Johnny. Yes. Uh huh. <coughs> the banks are about to foreclose on me, my man. <laughs> I I'm sure you heard about what happened. <laughs> oh, no, no. Come on, Johnny. I mean, you can do better than offer excuses. I'm, I'm, I'm about to lose everything that I've worked for. I mean, Johnny, I expect you to. I mean, you. Uh, uh, jo Johnny! I need, I need to, I need to raise some money immediately. Can, can you do, can you do something like, fi like five million there? It's terribly important. Oh come on, Ocon. When you needed money, I gave you money. What are you talking about? I, this is, it's a, it's a short term loan, but I do it. Oh, oh, oh. you heard? Oh. oh. It, so is that your attitude? Because I'm in trouble. You're sorry. I'm the one who's sorry for calling you. I thought you were my friend. Uh, how's your baby lie? Uh, how are you? <laughs> I. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, uh, Alaji. Uh, I I will need to. I I need to raise some money very urgently for for some urgent business. Uh, uh, can I get like um, ten million? You know, to just it's a very sh uh, uh, allergy. Allergy, Abba. We we've done this before. I mean, uh, uh. Oh, so why do you believe what they tell you? It's not. I don't owe any bank money. This is just allergy. Bola, I said I'm counting on you. Bola, I'm begging. Listen, I have tried. I'm begging you. I'm counting on you. I have, I have nowhere else to turn to. Bola, yeah, we've done good business in the past. And Bola, Bola, I know you have the money. Even if you don't have the ready cash now, I know that you can. I mean, you can stand, you can you can guarantee, you can get a large to, to give me the money and you can guarantee it. Uh, Bola, I beg you as a friend, do this. Let you won't. There's nothing I can say that you do, you know. Now, I know what they mean when they say you only know your true friends when you are in your hour of need. Who or where do I turn to now? Oh, who ever felt before I jumped into the scene? 
Letter today, she says her exams will soon be over. She'll be coming home. That is, if we still have a home. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Good morning, sir. to type out letters of retrenchment to all the staff. Thank them for their loyalty and cooperation. Explain the situation to them and um, inform them that if the situation improves, we, we shall recall them. On what day should the message be sent? With immediate effect. Okay, sir. But Ralph did. I don't think he's asking for that. Let's not send the message yet. I'm sure there's something that can be done. <laughs> The only thing that can save me now is a miracle. Miracles just don't happen anymore. Now that you've mentioned the word miracle, I know of a person who can change the situation around for us. Queen, Queen. My most loyal Queen. The only person that can turn the situation around has to be someone who can afford to give me 20 million naira. And I wonder, I wonder if such a person exists. This person is a wonder all right. She's a woman of God. She heads the prayer band of the church which I attend. <laughs> Queen, there's no doubt that I'm desperate. But I don't think I'm that desperate. I mean, <laughs> to hang my feet on... Uh, some spiritual mumbo jumbo. I mean, that's tantamount to clutching at straws. And uh, what I need right now is a realistic lifeline. One of the it, Ralph, you have tried everywhere. Even the friends you set up in business have all abandoned you. Where are they now? Where are they now that you're in trouble? You have nothing to lose, Ralph. 
this woman is a miracle worker. She could give you the much-needed lifeline. <laughs> and what will happen when people who know me hear that I went to consult a spiritualist? <laughs> no way, Queen. Right. No way. Right. Do you still listen to what people say? Where are they now? Where are your people? They are nowhere to be found. Now that you're in trouble, give her a try first. If it fails, disengage all the staff and do whatever else you need to do. But give her a try. If you insist, I'll go. But I'm doing this only to please you. Thank you, Ralph. I promise you, you will never do the same again. Never. My young man, worry not for all the plans of the evening have come to naught. You are destined for great power. No plan of the enemy can stop you. Arise and shine. That's what this woman was talking about. She hasn't really said anything. What about the bank loan? What about the business? Fret not yourself. You just go back to your office and you will see the work of our God. That's all. You must be a lot more devoted to God right now. Love should be the dominant factor in all that you do. That's all? Yes. You may now go. They pretend to be your friend. Two days' time. So please help me hold back your bag for moving it. No, Raphael, I don't understand the flights. Believe me, I've got everything worked out. I will pay your bank every cobble I owe them in two days' time. But the situation has changed. James, if you don't do this for me, then I'll have to reconsider my relationship with you. I thought you were my friend. I just got a memo this morning from my, my chairman. But the chairman is your in law. You're not listening, Raphael. The, the, the memo came in with good news. Good news? Yes. One, the bank has decided to give you a 90 days extension. Two, the bank's insurance have underwritten the losses because investigations revealed that the, the fire was not arson. And three, you're going to get another 20 million naira to pursue your business. But in exchange of a 30% equity from your company <laughs> in favor of the bank. <laughs> Profit all thanks <coughs> to you. Mm. No, Ma. no thanks to you, but thanks to the priestess. Yeah, thanks to the priestess. 
But if you weren't there for me, there would have been no priestess. And only God knows where I would have been now. Remember, you still have to learn to the priestess. Oh, can't you wait? All I want to do is be with you. Not more than I. But there's this revelation she says she has to you. That she has to deliver to you personally. It's very important that you must see her. But don't worry. Mm. I'll be here waiting for you. Mm. You have been chosen to serve. You cannot run away from this commission. Mm -hmm. Establish a church. I can't. Of course you will. The masters have specifically chosen you for this assignment. But I can't. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cut out for that. Don't worry. The masters will guide you on what to do. They need you to shepherd the flock. But my, my business... I can't afford to abandon my family. Do you doubt the masters? No. Do not doubt them. They have made you prosper. And can even make you more prosperous. Even as you establish the church for the work. <laughs> you have been prepared for the calling. There is nothing you can do about it. Nothing. 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 Auntie Maria, how are you? Mommy, Auntie Maria, how are you? Maria, you told us to see you. So Pete Junior, where are your manners? Yes, I want to speak. So let's speak on you like it? So how was it then? You're fine. I hope to do well. I don't know. It's fine. Everybody's fine. Sister, you know what? I've given my life to you. You have done what? There was this campus crusade. And before I knew what was happening, I had already been arrested by the Holy Spirit. Sister, you need to give your life to Christ. I'm surprised. You, Maria, talking about God? You're such a sweet experience to be in here. Ah, Uncle Wako. <laughs> ah, Maria, when did you arrive? Oh, she just arrived. Your vacation. Ah, how are your exams? They're fine, and I have to do it. Mm. Oh, yes, I'm almost setting up for dinner, so when I go and get you ready now. Yeah. After you, after you. Yeah. Junior. Mm, looks very nice. Did you say thank you to her? Yeah, that I sent her. Good boy, let's go. <laughs> Eating. Of course I'm eating. Go ahead and eat your food, Junior. Why are you at Maria not eating? Junior, why didn't you eat your food and stop talking? Let me at Maria share my meal. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, you see what you have done now? You said I'm not eat your food. You have come back to fall down. Junior. Junior, what is wrong with you? Junior! Hey, let me get my keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Junior! Sister, what is wrong with my job? Junior! Let me pray for you. Okay. Are you God to give me what I need? Junior! 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 My Lord Junior. and my God. <laughs> Father, you told us in the book of Exodus 15 26 that you are the God that heals us. Therefore, Lord, I pray now that your healing battle will fall on this child and deliver him of whatever sickness that suddenly attacks him. Amen. By the strife of Jesus, let him be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 What is she doing? Thank you, Lord. What is she doing? In Jesus' name. Junior! <laughs> Junior! Junior! God, please, God. No, I can't. No, no. You can't run away, Rafa. You can't. <laughs> I can't. So, the death of your son is not funny. Your wife will be next. No. No. Your wife will be next unless you answer the call. No. No. Answer the call. No. Answer the call. No. Answer the call. No. No. Answer the call. No. Answer the call. No. No. God, where did you take to go from me? <laughs> it will be well. It will be well. <laughs> Thank you, all ye kings. Your time is come. It cannot be stopped. Do not go beyond that point. It is good you have decided to submit to the will of our God for you. Or do you still have any doubts about the power of our God? Who am I? You shall have a revelation of the fullness of the power of our God. And it will be your duty to do all his biddings through the church that we shall establish for you. You shall have power to perform signs and wonders. May it be done as you have said. But you must first of all put your house in order. For a house divided against itself cannot stand. As a custodian of the powers of our God, You must get rid of every contrary spirit in your house. O oh, Priestess, reveal to me who this person is, and straight away I will do as you bid. Your sister in law has a contrary force. You must get rid of her at once. You do know the repercussions from our God when you do not obey his orders, don't you? Then get rid of her at once! Brother Andrew, I really enjoyed the service in your church last Sunday. You did? This pastor Josiah is an anointed man of God. But I told you, didn't I? To think that I have been misled all along. May God forgive me. See, don't let that bother you. Our God is a merciful God. And He's always ready to forgive our sins. Especially when we believe with our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is our personal Lord and Savior. He will forgive us of God. I thank God for His abundant grace. Brother Andrew, I'm really inspired by your zeal in the Lord. <laughs> to God be the glory. So, are you accompanying me to this music service today? Uh, why not? 
then let me go and get a Bible and let go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So shall we? Let's not forget. I bought some food on my way here. I don't know if you want some. Yes, why not? Let me have some. Let us go. Sister Kuhn, what are you doing? You have eaten all the food, and it is not going back. You belong to us. I came on a mission to pull you down and eat. Hmm. Oh, we just thank you. We give you all the glory. Oh, we thank you for your supernatural move. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you for the supernatural growth of the church. Yes, yes. The church of yes. barely three months yes. and with membership approaching nearly 5,000. Yes, oh, this yes. is a miracle. Yes. And only you could have done it, Lord. Oh, we know it is not by power, it is not by might, but it is by your spirit, oh Lord yes. God Almighty. Oh, we thank you, Father God Almighty, for the confirmation of your word with signs and wonders. We thank you, Father God, for the blind that now see through my hands. Yes, we thank you for the limb that walk. Yes, we thank you for the deaf that hear. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we bless your holy name. Oh, we thank you, Father God Almighty. Amen. Oh, Romo Koshiba. Amen. We thank you most of all for the uprooting of Satan and all his disciples. Shantara Bakoso for Romo Koshiba. Yes, Father. Yes, I hear you, Father. Yes, yes, Lord, I hear you, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you for that revelation, thank Lord. You, Lord. Oh, light has come, darkness must flee. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Mm, mm. Yes. Maria. What about Maria? <laughs> She has to go. She has a contrary spirit. I don't understand you. <laughs> the Holy Spirit has just revealed to me that she has been lying all along about being a Christian, when in actual fact she is in league with the devil. What? I can't believe this. But you can't believe the Holy Spirit? The perfect spirit, a woman, 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 God with the Holy Spirit. It's like that. It's just that it's such a shock. Oh, that is just the beginning. You see, you remember when our son died? The boy died only after she had laid her hands on him. But the Holy Spirit has just told me that she, in fact, killed her. What? Son. She has to go. She has to go. Hmm. Well, what have you been doing since I sent you? Sister, are we having a Monday morning quarantine? Quiet time? Maria, what do you know about quiet time? About the Bible and about God, whom you supposedly call upon every day. Is there anything wrong? Is there anything that I'm supposed to do for you as a sister which I haven't done? From secondary school, my to university. Why did you choose to pay me in this painful way? How? Oh, I don't understand. I thank God that my husband and I can now see through your pretenses and holier than thou image. Who? Oh, me? Pretenses? I don't pretend. I am a child of God. Pretend about what? You pretend about your real self, Maya. You're like a leopard in sheep's clothing. But God has exposed you. When I 
to kill my only son. Your own nephew. You are a witch, Maria. You are a witch. But what have I done to you? Do you know what you have just said now? That I did what? May God just forgive me for what you have just you said. You are the one that needs forgiveness from God, Maria. You need the abundance grace of God to be delivered. You are a witch. You are the agent of the devil or the demonic influence. My husband and I have decided that you should leave the house. Go, Maria. Back out of my house before you lead us on to become the agent of the devil. <laughs> Like no! Maria, get out of this place! <laughs> Brings you to my humble home today. Jesus, of course. That's very good. Sit down. Thank you. Oh. So, what can I get for you? Uh, nothing. Nothing. How's business? So, so. We are pushing it. Man, no, that man, no, right. And how is everybody at home? Very well. Though the last time I, I heard from them. Or did you see any vision? No, no. Okay, thank God. You mean you wouldn't take anything? No, thanks. Why did you stop coming to church? Did I stop? <laughs> Who said I stopped? You haven't been to church in one whole month. That's stupid. It is not so, Pastor. You know the pleasure of work. This work we're doing is really time. The Bible says in Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord. And in this law he meditates day and night, that among a whole lot of other blessings, whatsoever he does shall prosper. Whatsoever. Underline the key word here. Whatsoever means just about anything he does. Do you catch the revelation? Yes, I do. God wants your prosperity. God is interested in your welfare, but the condition is that you have to be holy, you have to be godly. I, I understand all you said, Pastor. I understand you perfectly. So, come to the counsel of the Lord in the church and let's meditate on His word, so that whatsoever you do will prosper. Remember, if you are not in the counsel of God, you are in the counsel of Satan. We'll be expecting you in church this Sunday. I'll be there, Pastor. I'll be there. Okay. You know, Brother Andrew, it's not a defining list in the body of Christ. For the house of a child of God to reek so much of cigarettes. The, um, uh, the, the, yes, the cigarette. Um, I'll try. Um, but you no, know, some friends that just came here. Some of them are not really born again. So telling them about a cigarette. You don't have to tell them. Just put up a no smoking sign and that'll be it. Yes, a no smoking sign. Ah, I didn't think of it. Though. I'll do it, Pastor. Don't forget Sunday. Okay. Am I mad? I'll remember. Okay. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be expecting you. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.
Ah, uh, a no smoking sign with you. Ah, heck, go find that I walk into our to teach me how to, whether I go smoke or I don't go smoke in my house. Oh, yeah. 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 So, that is the situation. The Lord has revealed to me that He has already awarded you the contract. He has done it for you. Oh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. But uh, you have to claim it by faith. I claim it by faith. I claim it in the name of Jesus. That's very good. That's very good. But um, there is one more thing to do. You have to sow a seed of faith. You know, Challenge God with your giving and see whether he will not prosper you. It is according to the Bible in 3 John 2, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou, that is you, mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So you see, our God is a God of possibilities. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. Um, I will do just that. And um, I'll come with something tomorrow. Uh, you do that, you see. Because, you see, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And the measure with which you give, you shall also receive. I won't forget that. I won't. Okay, so ask uh, the next person to come and to see. Okay, Pastor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Then why are you worried? Just give me the name of the man and he's as good as yours. You see, in this church, nobody can disobey the commandment of God through me. You see, the Bible says that none shall be barren in the land. But I, as an apostle of the Most High God, I declare that none Absolutely none shall be husbandless in this church. Not to talk of being barren. <laughs> Pastor, uh, uh, yes. he is not a member of this church. To tell the truth, he's not even a born again Christian. Sister Anita, is that why you're happy? Come on, be a good chair. You see. The Lord is only using you to add one more soul into his kingdom. That's all. Give me his name. And sooner than you think he'll be proposing. Um, his name is Chris or Dati. I trust that he's well to do. <laughs> Pastor. He is so well to do, you won't believe it. <laughs> well, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! <laughs> well, thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, Let me run. Amen. Okay, Sister Anita. It is well with you. Go well. Amen. The Lord is with you, Sister Anita. <laughs> Sister Anita. <laughs> Any more visitors? No. Um, yeah. mm. Pastor, I don't understand why all these things are happening to me. My life has not been the same again since my sister called me a witch to my face and accused me of killing her son. Added to the fact that you sent me packing. I'm so confused. Why all these temptations, God? Why? My sister in the Lord, you're not homeless in any way, okay? For what greater house is there here on earth 
than the mansion Jesus has prepared for all true believers like you in heaven. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. Quickly, let's open our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 6 and read for us from verse 22 to see what God tells us concerning your present persecution. Jeanette, read for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Mary, I really want you to listen to me. The Bible says here, that blessed are you when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their calling, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. But rejoice ye in that day, and live for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Hold it right there. Maria, that is the word of God. The promise of God that never fails. The Bible says his promises are sure, that his word is yea and amen. It's our hope as Christians. Do you understand? Do you believe in God? Yes, Pastor. Then why did you say you were confused when the Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12, that we should think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try us as though something strange happens to us? You don't have to worry about a thing as long as you have Jesus. The Bible says if anyone suffers as a Christian, he or she should not be ashamed in any way, but should glorify God for that. It's by the grace of God that Sister Janet here offered that you stay with her. Remember that. Now, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the persecution of our sister. So you see, gentlemen, if only men of God these days can latch on to this new revelation, I'm talking about the principle of the two P's, power and prosperity, yeah. then the people will be set free. Yeah. And so then we have no choice but to flee away. That, that is true, is but you are right. In fact, we need men of God like you to continue to hammer on this revelation. <laughs> That's that is the revelation. I don't understand why these days people don't like all the things. This is how we have it. Well, how we have it. It's very simple. Oh, Pastor, Pastor, you said. Oh, that was a powerful yeah. ministry. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. And you know, as you were ministering, the Holy Spirit ministered to me to sow a seed of 50,000 naira into the ministry. I, I make a check right away. Uh, don't bother, Pastor Raphael. Much as I appreciate the gesture, I'm afraid I'll have to turn it down. Why? I'm not led by the Spirit to receive it from you. You can still make the check out to the Motherless Babies Home or to any other charitable organization. I'm sure it will make somebody's life worth living. Yes, I, I'll do that. Well, I must run along. I have a program to catch in church. Bye. And in the spirit. You too. Is that what to Raphael? Powerful man of God. He is. I never saw a powerful man of God. He is. Do you know that this in the way God manifested his power through him? <laughs> too many people are receiving from God. Sometimes I begin to wonder if it's not just the whole, I mean, the same kind of touch we are praying. It is the same. But brethren, I want to tell you something. Well, even the devil is out there doing his works. Let us not be tied away that all these things. Remember, the spirit has even gone out from among us. So, so let us not be carried away by all these signs and wonders. So what I can say. After Nicodemus. We just have to be. Now listen, listen, let me tell you, listen. Let us not fight for God. God is using this man mightily. Can't you understand that God is using him to raise so many churches? This man has given so much money to the church. And we even the Bible says that we should test all spirits. But not the kind of one that just gave us. Remember, the same Bible said that He has given us power to make wealth. I am ashamed that a church like this, with the number of wealthy people we have here, can still be worshipping in a place like this. Every day we ask for God's blessings, and I know, I know that He blesses us. At least in this church, I know that He blesses us. Yes. He does abundantly. He has blessed me. Oh, but we do not want to use God's blessings to build a befitting place for him. If I, being a common human being, 
but by the grace of God, an apostle of the Most High God. If I am ashamed of this place, oh, 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 you can imagine how ashamed God is of this place when he knows how he has blessed some members of this congregation. Gentlemen, this is not a time to start justifying ourselves and saying, uh, we made the people give yesterday, and uh, let us not make them give today. Because what if God who gives life says, because I gave you life yesterday, I will not give you today. What if he says so? Good for it. Oh. If God does not relent in blessing the people, why must we relent in asking the people to give? God who is asking them to give, he knows that he has given them more than enough to give. After all, why does God give these people? So that they can give back to the work of God and to the man of God. Of course. So, oh, 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 God is merciful. All, All the time. time. All the time. Because when these same people give, he multiplies it back onto them a hundredfold and more. Gentlemen, God spoke to me and expressed his displeasure about the state of affairs in this place. We have to do something. Exactly. Now. Well, thank you, Reverend. Gentlemen. Do you have anything to say? <clears throat> well, yes, uh, but um, why not finish up? Finish up. After the Reverend has just spoken. I realized that I have to ask God to forgive me for thinking that the people out there are giving too much. Honestly, I have to confess that I have been hindering the move of God in this church. It is not only you. It's not only you, Pastor. Do not grieve. In fact, we all should come together and pray to God for forgiveness. For thinking likewise. And um, by the grace of God, I suggest that we launch the new church building at Bay Yes. yes. With about a hundred or more multi millionaires we have in this church, one millionaire from each of them will be more than enough for the church. So, yes, so I agree with you entirely. Church building at people. Yes. Chris, you mean you have to do it? It's not fair. Oh, I wish I could stay and uh, I have this very important mind meeting tomorrow morning. And no. how much I like to spend time with you. But if I don't go now, I'll be a shadow of myself tomorrow morning. I'll <laughs> oh, come on, Anita. Listen, I promise to make it up to you when we go over to Abuja over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Think about it, think about it. Three good days with just you and I at the shirt. I told you I don't want to go to Abuja. I need 50,000 naira between now and Sunday, and I have to raise the money. Unless. Of course, but we need to get more than <laughs> You sweet little devil. You're taking advantage of the fact that I'll do anything for you. Hmm? <laughs> anyway, I'll send my driver with the money tomorrow morning. Is that okay? Excuse me, darling. Let me see who is at the door. Anita, my 
dying, my dying papa. I need your order. What is wrong? What is I so don't know what is it? I don't What is your job? Eh, what is your job? I don't know what is it for you. Eh, thank you. And please come. Look, eh, uh, you're a wife. Please, please come and call the pastor. Tell him to call him immediately that I'm not feeling well. Go, go, and call him immediately, pastor. Quick, yeah. quick, call him. Eh, uh, Anita, Aladdin. look, eh. Uh, you have to go. If the pastor comes in here, he wouldn't like it. You are right. Let him come and pray for me and you, eh, so that God will forgive yeah. us. Eh? You have to Again, eh, but I go back tomorrow. Don't worry, I will call you when I'm feeling better. Okay. Uh, uh, make you know that, you don't forget, I love you, my Anita. Eh? Okay. Again, Anita. I will come back, I will come back tomorrow, can you? So look at me. Make you know that I'm All of us had to turn born again first thing. When your brother in law let go, God is mightily busy. What happened? Why did you leave? My sister, it's a long story. I know my God is a God of justice and he never sleeps. Anyway, I still love them and I still pray for them. They send my love to wherever you see them. You know, bye. 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 And you did not understand. At your age, you still behave like me. Joe, will you come back here? Where do you think you're going? I'm, I'm not in the movie. Shut up! Shut up! You have the guts to walk away while I'm talking to you. I do not blame you. Are you not the reason why I'm living this dirty life? Just to make sure there's enough money for you and for others. Or do you think I enjoy messing around with men? Is that what you think? <laughs> Joy! Come back here! Okay, I can see you're prepared to go back to the village. Finally, most magnificent and wise masters, I ask or a double portion of your anointing. The anointing to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. The anointing to show the people your power. The anointing that will lead the people and lead more souls to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, most excellent and wise masters, for answered prayers.
spirit of the living God move in the midst of your people today. <sighs> Brother, come here. I see the spirit of disappointment on you. You were promised a contract, but when you got there, they had given it to somebody else. Pastor. <laughs> Today, that spirit of disappointment that has taken hold of you will be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brother, touch my hand and receive your miracle. Oh, shh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You have been believing God for the fruit of the womb. Is that not so? <laughs> well, today, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Pastor Raphael, He has heard your prayers. Hallelujah. I see faith rising up in you. Because you see, the Bible says that there shall be none, none barren in the land. Yes. Stretch forth. See. Oh, you spirit of barrenness, I curse you and I command you to come out and I command new life to come into this body in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister, it was a terrible accident. Yes, your knee was, your leg was amputated from the knee downwards. Yes. Do you believe that God is still in the business of miracles? That the God of today is the same God of Ezekiel who caused dry bones to live again? And that where there were no bones, he can cause bones to be. Where there was no flesh, he can cause flesh to be. And where there were no muscles, he can cause muscles to be. Hallelujah. Yeah. I see faith rising up in you. Amen. I command you, in the name of the Most High God, to recreate muscles, sinews, and bones, and flesh, and be recreated a leg for this young lady to dance like her peers in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! No. Say it again. That your pregnancy shut out almost immediately. <laughs> See, Dandy. Chade. All my husband relations have buried their hairs in shame. In a few months, I'll deliver a bouncing baby boy. How did you know it's going to be a boy? From the day of the miracle, Reverend said it's going to be a boy. And whatever that man says comes to pass. Nala, I have to meet this pastor of yours. If I can't do anything about this childless condition of mine, soon 
My husband's people will throw me out. You will meet him. But I warn you, the key of receiving miracle is total obedience. I will obey anything he tells me. I will do as long as I get pregnant. Even if it means anointing any part of you? If he likes, let him anoint my whole self. Okay. I am ready. in Jesus name. I know, Pastor, but it is still fornication. I mean, I, I find I can't help myself anytime I see it, anything. Is. I say, don't bother yourself. You see, it's a human inclination. And God created you a human being now, didn't He? Yes. Uh -huh. So, if as a human being you react like a human being, there's no problem. But just ensure that you are discreet. Because the Bible says a Christian must not cause another Christian to fall by his actions. You're a Christian, aren't you? Yes, yes. The Bible says that there is now therefore no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus. And oh, God is merciful. God also says to you that if you fall seven times, he will pick you up seven times. You know, so don't bother yourself too much. Ah, and my former pastor just made me feel so guilty. As if I'm. So, so you mean, Pastor, I should just go ahead and. I say, be discreet. Just make sure you are not caught. <sighs> Thank you, Pastor. I'll go now. Let me just. Uh, young man, remember what I said. Whatever you do, don't get caught. I remember that. I'm so glad. God bless you too. Thank you. Pastor, this is Brother Nathan. He has come to redeem his pledge. Good day, Pastor. <laughs> Brother Nathan, Pastor. I see that you got the contract. Yes, <laughs> I got it. And uh, if you remember, I promised that I'll give to God what he gave to me. Here is a check for one million naira. Hold it while I pray for you. Oh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, as this one has responded to your need for a befitting worship center for you, O oh God, I decree as an apostle of the Most High God that in the not too distant future, he will put up his own building. Amen. A 20-bedroom mansion in Lekki. Amen. Oh, he will use choice building materials like Italian marble. Amen. Amen. Carrara. Amen. Choice cedar wood. Amen. To put up that structure. Amen. Oh God, he will have a big garage. Amen. Amen. Filled with choice cars. Amen. Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Amen. BMW. Amen. Rolls Royce. Amen. Oh, one Wonderful, wonderful cars shall be in his garage. Amen. Oh, Father God Almighty, I thank you for this man. I bless your holy name for what he has done, for he has responded to your need. And I know that you will respond to all his needs Amen. according to your riches and glory. Amen. By Christ Jesus. Amen. Father God, we just bless you. Amen. Embarrass him. Amen. Embarrass him. Amen. Embarrass him. Amen. Embarrass Amen. Him. Your blessings, oh God. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yes, Pastor. God has just started with you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is just the beginning of your miracles. 
God has a lot in store for you. I'm so grateful to God, Pastor. <laughs> Go in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mother. Wow! It's just about the only one left in this place. Which is the one to Is there anything too much for my birthday? I know. When can I get my money? It's over here. Wow! It's just too much. Oh, I'm celebrating in the house tonight. Unfortunately, I promised my wife that I'll spend the night at home today. Oh. Okay, tomorrow is for you. As your majesty pleases. <laughs> okay, let me run along and change this into cash. You do that. I just called to tell you that I, I won't be coming home tonight. I'm assisting a pastor friend organizing a night beach up. <laughs> well, but you know I still love you. Hmm? Mm. Okay, Ed. Anything else in this world. And you will get it. <laughs> Just as long as you cooperate with me, you will get it. I will do anything. You will do anything? Come and show me. Membership has dropped from 10,000 to 2,000, and this is affecting the offering. Deacon Dima, what is going on here? We can hardly raise the sum of 150,000 and this church any more these days. How are we supposed to run a church, Deacon Dima, with my team? But Pastor, it's not my fault. It's just because members are no longer committed to, to the church. How can they be committed when the workers, you and the workers, are, are, are no longer working hard? I mean, your visitation team is not effective. I even understand that you no longer have a, a, a follow up team. Ah, DK Nema, you have to push them to work harder. You have to push them. Pastor, I'll try my best. I can assure you that I will try my best. Oh, you will have to do more than your best. Ask the same thing to see me. Okay, bye. Okay. Welcome, Sister Anita. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Ah, what has brought you here today? Um, actually, Pastor, it's about Chris. Chris? Yes, um, that man you and I agreed in prayers about a oh, long time ago. Oh, what about him? He has proposed to me. Well, praise the Lord! <laughs> Hallelujah! Pastor, I want you to agree with me in prayers that he should not change his mind, that he should quicken our marriage plans. Is that all? Yes. Let us do that. 
Mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, your word says that if two shall agree concerning anything, that that thing shall be established. Lord God Almighty, I stand in agreement with my sister today concerning her heart's desire in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God Almighty, your word says, Seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. I join my sister and we have asked and therefore we know that we receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord God Almighty Jehovah Jireh, you say that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. As an apostle of the Most High God, I decree that Brother Chris will not change his mind concerning Sister Anita in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I will go further to decree as an apostle of the Most High God that wedding bells shall ring sooner than later. For in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. 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 Sister Anita, it is well. Thank you very much, Pastor. Mm, when are you seeing him? Um, I'm expecting him later today. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Mm. You see, the Holy Spirit was just ministering to me right now that he will come to your house this evening and that he will announce the wedding day. Oh, Pastor, you're so powerful. <laughs> to God be the glory, Sister Anita. To God be the glory. Danny, the pastor has been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Please sit down. Danny, what's wrong with you? You're looking so strange. Strange? Queen. Ever since the pastor gave me the 11 million for the car, my conscience has ever been in turmoil. Why? That was the money realized from the church building our peer fund. So? Don't you understand? That was exactly what happened to the money of the church choir our peer fund. Again, that was also what happened to the World Outreach Evangelical our peer fund. Instead of using the money to buy the buses, what did he do? He used the money to buy a big house at Victoria Garden City. Danny, you've been part of this all along. Why are you being so fanatical about the whole thing now? Why not take care of yourself? Let God take care of himself. Queen, that's true. But I now know better. Especially now that the pastor has asked me to start arranging for faith miracles. That was the turning point. I have realized that I've deviated from my divine calling. Instead of the house of God growing bigger and bigger every day, the pastor is getting richer and richer every hour. Danny, what are you talking about? Have you not heard that it is written in the Bible that they that walk in the vineyard of God shall eat from the vineyard? I took a vow to do God's work. The 11 million dollars which the pastor gave me to buy his drink cup will be used for the salvation of souls, especially in this end time. Not for frivolities. Danny. Danny, don't you think you're making a mistake? What is going to happen to us? I mean, what is going to happen to our relationship? Danny. That was before. A mistake I would have regretted all my life. But I thank God. In His infinite mercies, has delivered me. Queen, I have repented. It is all over. In fact, it never happened. You had better repent. Queen, 
I don't know about you. But tell your good pastor that me and my family we will never set our feet in this Egypt anymore. We are headed for the promised land, the land of Canaan. I don't know what you want to do, but make hay while the sun shines. Before it is too late, know where Chris is. Why are you answering the question? I said, where is Chris? I'm sorry, Auntie. Chris hasn't been here today. He hasn't been here. But the pastor... Anyway, take care of these oranges to the kitchen. Oh, Auntie, darling. I knew you... Call it out. And don't you go sweetheart me. What's the matter? You have the guts to ask me what's the matter? After you go around sleep around shamelessly. Eh? Me? How could you say that to me? God knows I've been so loyal. Shut up! <laughs> Don't you go lying in the name of God? You whore? Chris! How could you? You called me a whore! Yes! You called me a whore in my normal my love! Oh my lord! You talk about loyalty! Lousy heart, that's what you are. And you talk about you talk about loyalty. And you talk about and you go around sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Uh, brethren, you are in for a great miracle time. Hallelujah. And those of you at home watching your TV sets, be prepared for a miracle time like never before. Brother, you have never walked in your life. Today, you shall become a journey walker and walk all over this place. Hallelujah. You, brother, you have never seen before in your life. Today, you will see with those eyes. Not only will you see with these physical eyes and know the difference between light and darkness, you shall even see visions and revelations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have not heard before in your life. You have never heard it before. Never. Brother, today, you will hear the saints make a joyful noise as you receive your miracle from the most high God through my hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. At this point, I just want us to commit Sister Maria unto God's hand about the church he told us about. He said we should pray for this church and this church be deliverance. Right now, I just want us to pray. Right now, let us pray to God. Let us pray to God. You foul spirit of blindness. As an apostle of the most high God, I command you by virtue of my office as an apostle of the most high God to depart from you in Jesus' name. Amen. I command 
do you want to be back from this one day? In Jesus' name, I said, Get out! No, no, can you hear me? Praise the Lord, somebody! Get ready to receive your miracle, brother. You foul spirits. You foul crippling spirits afflicting this young man. I command you to come out of it in Jesus' name. I say, come out! Brother, look at me. It is well with you. Amen. You can walk. Stand up and walk! I tell you the devil is a liar. He has come to deny you of your God-given miracle. All these people who I have laid hands on, the devil wants to deny you of your healing. I urge you, go and take your healing. For the devil is a liar. Hallelujah! It's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle Welcome to the Hall of Darkness. The King of Darkness will now hear you. O 
only king of darkness. I come to you with thanksgiving. You have been faithful. You said if I dedicated one out of every ten babies, delivered in my clinic to your kingdom, that my clinic will prosper. Since I began to do that, my clinic has been jumped. I give you thanks and await further directions. You have done well. Further directions shall be passed on to you in due course. O ye darkness king, I have prospered beyond my wildest dreams. Ever since I started donating a vast load of passengers to you, through accident every year, I would have liked to increase the number to two. But for these Christians, whenever they enter, they will cover the cross with the blood of the Holy One, which renders my plans useless. Trouble not your mind without the Christian kingdom. For that is the reason the agents and the most churches. To destabilize them and render their prayers more good. Ye king of darkness, I have been very faithful to you. I have done everything you asked me to do. I even sacrificed my son. And now everything in my church is falling apart. No more signs and wonders. No more large congregation. And the money is just trickling in. What have I done wrong? The cause of your woes, Maria. You made a mistake, allowing her to give it. Now she has turned up from the pastor's desire, and they have launched a full scale war against you. O oh, king, what shall I do now? Open yourself now for a while. I will do anything. I will come against their church in a way only they can. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, just worship the Lord right now. For he is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the God of all creation. He is the Lord of our lives. He is worthy of all our praises. Open your mouths and worship the Lord right now. For he is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, Father, we worship you. We worship you this day in the name of Jesus. For you are more than worthy. You are more than worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Calling Jesus. 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 Your name. Your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. 
the Holy Spirit has just ministered to me that there is a contrary spirit in our midst. Brethren, open your mouths right now and take authority. Yes, Lord. And destroy the spirit that controls the fear of hell. Talk about our name of Jesus. The Lord of the Lord say that I went from the prophet. I'm not going to do it. 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 In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, you foul spirit, you contrary spirit from the pit of hell, we are a church soaked in the blood of Jesus, and we come against you right now with the fullness of the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we rebuke you. We take authority over you. We render you powerless. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the blood of their testimony. We overcome you right now with the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the word of our testimony. In the name of Jesus, consume me with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And we command you to burn. us. Amen. For greater is he that is in us yes. than he that dwells in you. Yes. Father, we thank, thank you. you. We give you glory. Hallelujah. For you are mighty in battle. Hallelujah. There is none to compare. Hallelujah. You are the one and only to God. Ancient of days. Yes, Omnipotent and sovereign Lord. Yes, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Yes. Please, what race you be? Please help me. What are you want to try to rescue me? I'm trying to I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. But this is your face. It's making it all look impossible. It's impossible. We are trying. I'm trying. If you don't rescue me, I'll get out to follow this child of God. I'm trying. Wait. No. No. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who has given us victory, victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who has given us victory, victory. must be my imagination. Otherwise, how can she, with all powers, fall in the hands of opposing forces? Hmm. All will not be the same again for me, hmm. for us, if this is true. No, no, it can't be true. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are now a child of God. You have been delivered. Your battle is now the Lord's. All those services, all those exploits in the name of the devil, they are over. Now, you will begin to experience the glory of God in your life through Christ Jesus. You mean, you mean I'm free? Free? No, no. No, come after Listen me. Listen to me. I know that. Listen to me. You don't have to worry about a thing. They are now powerless towards you. The Bible says greater and more powerful is he that dwells in you now than the evil one that is in them. If Jesus, the Son of Man, sets you free, you are free indeed. And today, he has set you free. And you're free. You are free. Do you understand me? You are free. You are free. No! 
she can never be free. There can never be any freedom for anyone who betrays us. Her failure has already been revealed to me. But she could confess. She could reveal some secrets about us. How do we rescue her before she does so? Don't worry about what she tells the world about us. She will come back to us. They will always come back. And then we will go back to tell the world that all that she has said about us is untrue. Nobody wins a war against us. Nobody at all. You wait and see. She will come back. On her own. She will come back. She will. She took me by and said she'd be hit by her. You don't know how to her. She must be suffering from that blessing. Sister Maria, after that accident, that unfathomable accident, there are some mysterious things which have been happening to me for some time now. Mysterious things? Like what? My former members, they visit me in the dream. And they visit me in this spiritually deadly images like snakes. Is that so? And they keep on threatening my life that if I don't come back, I'm going to be miserable all my life. And do you want to go back? Hmm? Do you, Queen? No. I'll serve the Almighty God for the rest of my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, they will try. They will even fight to get you back. But they will not succeed. Mm -hmm. As long as you're covered with the blood of Jesus. And if God be for me, Sister Maria, who shall I be afraid of? But you see, I've tested two opposite powers. And I tell you, I've never been at peace with myself. I'm strong as I am now. I tell God I'm no longer there. But Sister Maria, your brother-in-law and I, we belonged to the same cult. His powers were given to him by the devil. All the miracles he used to perform are all fake. Even his son's life was taken to force him into the brotherhood. He used to tell me everything about you and your prayers. And how your prayers used to weaken his own powers. He really felt very uncomfortable with you in the same house. I've got to do something to save my sister. You don't seem to like the food. That's none of your business. It's my business when you play around with food that I have taken so much pain to prepare. Is that all that's about me food? When all that I've worked for all my life is coming right before my eye. All you can think about is food. What am I supposed to do? You are asking me. What's the matter? You're talking as if I'm responsible for everything. But of course you are. Me? If that witch of a sister of yours had not come to live with us in the first place, all this wouldn't have been happening. Right, not again. The moment she came back from school claiming to be a born-again Christian, everything changed. It's not my fault. It's I'm, not my fault. I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of your sister. I'm sick and tired of everything. You're not being fair to me. Oh, leave me alone. Where are you going, Ralph? I'm going to deal with the situation once and for all. I don't understand what you're talking about. Even though they have gathered together against me, they shall fail. Thus says the Lord. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. 
<laughs> I know. I have come to initiate you into the brotherhood of darkness. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 